Oh, you are now venturing into some place that descends. And of course, you remember yeah. the rules of old school D and D. Yeah, this is going to get fun. Um, all right, but so you're probably going to need a marching order. Um, it's going to be single file through here, right? So okay, so what we're going to do, um, right? Well, I want. Oh, crap. I'm going to actually have um, Ramses. And I'm gonna have Duran and Ramses go first because they have um, dark vision, and okay. I'm going to have um, then um, PD is going to be next, but holding back with the torch, and then um, Benedict, and then we're gonna put um, Freyla, and then Larry. Oh no, I need I need I need Larry up front cuz he's a ranger and he won't be surprised. Crap. Well, no, I, I already said that. Um Oh, you can move him. I don't care. What? All right. Well, okay, well then but I still want Ramsey's and Duran. Ramsey's Duran up front cuz of the night vision and then we're going to have Larry. Then we'll have um Well, unfortunately, you'll get surprised if he's not in the front. Yeah, I know. It's it's fine. I mean, we'll just we'll just go with that. But let's put Freyla. Uh, let's put Benedict behind Freyla. Just. Oh no, okay. Petey, Petey doesn't trust Freyla. Um, Petey's gonna go behind Fre Freyla. Petey's gonna let her be right in the middle. Petey doesn't know this chick. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know this all right um <laughs> um all right so um we are going to now pd's got the torch unfortunately but um right. but they're, but but they're gonna hang back and let ramsey's and Duran kind of move forward just a little bit how far slowly um i, I guess gag... every block here is what that's five feet a block so the question is 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 when we go we're going down does it wind or does it go straight it's going to go down a passageway and then continue on for quite a bit well, right. we're we're going to we're going to stop in the middle of the passageway and let Ramses and Duran go a good you know 20 30 feet in front of us so the so the torchlight doesn't affect their um their vision all right, let me try something here. I got, I'm trying something new here. You want to see it? I didn't want to do that. What did I do that for? All right, Control-C. I'm here. I want here. I want here. And I want here. And if I take this and I put this here, and I put this on PD, being in the center of it, that'll be your light source, right? Can't get this exactly center, but that's okay. That's what you got going on, right? And then Larry's here. Freyla's in front. Freyla is in front of Petey, yeah. And then Benedict is... Um... Did you turn your volume off? No, sorry. I lifted the thing when I was oh. drinking. Uh, yeah, um, so um, we've got... No, Larry's in front of Fre Freyla. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, well... Well, yeah. So this would be your setup. Yeah. More or less. Yeah. Okay. That'll have to do. So you can actually yeah. somewhat that's yeah. 30 feet of light. Yeah. So Larry's in the dark. Well, I'm gonna try to keep I'm gonna try to keep the humans <laughs> together in the light. So they'll so they'll bunch up and Ramsey's and Duran will be a little bit ahead of the light moving in the like this? Yeah. yeah. That works. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Um, yeah. Yeah. You go down a passageway that circles about, right? Okay. Um. Uh, make sure I have this correct. This long tunnel descends down ten feet and is dark, dank. It smells of mold. 
All right, but not of death. All right. Not so. no, not yet. Okay. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. It takes a spiral that comes back around. Um, okay. So you go down a flight of stairs, you go down another flight of stairs. Interesting. Then you go down this one area, and then you go up a flight of stairs, then okay. up another flight of stairs, oh, okay. and you start to come into this area that seems to be illuminated. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Um, then um, if it's illuminated, Ramses and Duran are going to stop, and they're going to um, quietly go back to the group. And they're going to um, whisper that there's an illuminated room up front. And Petey, being the thief, is going to walk quietly and sneak up and look in the room. Petey? Yeah, he's going to be, now he has these elven boots, so he's going to yeah, walk. Yeah, he will not quietly. be hurt, that's for sure. He's going to walk real quietly, but he's going to, he's going to, to do his little thief thing and try to peek in without being seen. All right, so when he goes in there to do his number, right, Um, are you okay? Yeah. So, okay. You're just sick, right? Just sick. All right, this is what it looks like when you come in, right? He comes up into here, okay? Okay. He sees, pressed against the walls of this cavern, are lined with barrels, crates, and all manners of supplies. For wine cast storage chest, and burlap sacks, this appears some kind of storage chamber. There's a large table in the center of the room with crockery, dice, iron flatware strewn haphazardly about. There's two thin-faced men dressed in ragged clothing, arguing at a table while a third guy is kneeling before the stone door. There's a stone door right here. I don't okay. know if you can see the cursor, right? All right. Trying to pick a lock. Oh, now that's interesting. Yeah. Um, that's what you got going on there. Is yeah. there like a barrel that he could hide behind? Yeah, he can slip right into there. He's not going to be seen. Yeah. All right. Um mm -hmm. He's gonna he's gonna quietly sneak back, okay. whisper to the group what he what he saw, and he's gonna tell them that he wants to go and try to hide behind a barrel and kind of sneak around. Okay. And um, come hard and fast. Um, and uh, let's see if we can get these guys. Um. So I guess the plan is so, so you said that so there's two guys at a table playing cards. Right. Or, and or playing dice, something, right? And then there's a guy over on the southwestern side that where where those two dots are below the 18, trying to pick a lock on a door. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Um okay, so um yeah, they're going to move around. Well, but again, so they're going to douse the light source. Okay. Um, and uh, I'll take you here and I'll put the dudes out here so you can decide what's going on. Okay. I'm going to drop a table in the center of this thing. I mean, it's makeshift, but that's yeah, what we sure. do now. Yeah. Okay. There's a table. It's pretty big. That's a nice size table. All right. And I'll put the dudes out. Right. So we'll put um there's one guy here. We'll give him number one. He's at this thing. And I'll stick obviously two here and well and put three here. Okay. So um and then you can decide how you want to approach the situation. Sure. So um all right. Uh this was the uh, stairs coming up right here. Dick, dick, dick. Those right. Stairs coming up right. So what what I don't know is I don't know well. Probably all wear rats. Um, so we got to do silver. Um, okay. So um, Petey's going to go first, and Petey's going to try to hide behind under by the, a barrel. Um, and he's going to so he can like which run wall? That wall right there, closer to number number two. He wants to kind of so he can jank number two, right? 
Okay, so he's got to do a hide in the shadows. Yeah. I it's not just sound, but we're going to say it's, what is it, 106? Yeah. Um, but the other guys are right up against that wall. So, you know, but let me, so who, so before who's the roll, yeah. So, wait, yeah, okay, let me, let, let me, let me, let me, let me give you the, let me give you the order for, so, um, um, it's going to be, um, Benedict and Ramsey first. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll do Benedict to Ramsey and then, um, and then, um, Duran. Okay. And Larry and Larry's got his longbow and Freyla is um I guess she's standing next to behind Larry. Yeah. Okay. I I haven't I haven't I haven't seen this chick fight yet. Yeah. Watch she's going to be like the mistress of this guy or something. I don't know. Anyway, all right. Um it's going to get crazy. All right. So this is all going to land whether or not PD rolls a one out of six. This is going to get crazy. <laughs> I that, I cannot yeah. lie. I rolled a six. Like yeah. it's let's it's a six. It's not it's not even a five. This guy turns yeah. and picks up a cludgel, and it it's on. Takes a, makes it take a swing at at PD. All right, so yeah. uh, it's on. If PD makes a noise, this guy's going to turn. This guy's going to, of course, move out to, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, they're going to, they don't see anybody else, but they do see Petey, and they're going to make a run towards him. Yeah. All right. Ooh, I don't know why I put an extra token on there. That was crazy. All right. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, let's do uh, two guys whacking on Petey. So we'll see how this works. All right. And then we'll roll for initiative. But all right. I rolled a 14. I don't know if that hits. That would hit. He, he has an AC of 13. Ooh, 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 ooh. Three hit points with the damage. He is down half. Oh shoot! Okay, all right. Yeah. And let's let's go on initiative. This will make sense. Ready? Yeah. Uh, I rolled, oh, I rolled a, one. a six. I rolled a six. I rolled, I rolled a one. So this will be <laughs> nice. good. All right. All right. So, um, Ramsey is. Um, I, oh, oh no! Well, first, it's going to be Petey. Petey's going to go first, right? Yeah. So, um, because Petey's right there. Um, Petey's going to do what Petey does. Petey's going to swing at number three. Okay. And move behind, like away past Ramsey. He's swinging and running. Um, oh. So he's going to yeah. eventually go this way. Yes. Right, and okay. I, I I rolled a twenty and then it moved and now it's an eight. So it landed on an eight. I thought it was a twenty. Um, okay. So he rolled. He doesn't have a nah. He just so he just rolled an eight. Okay, that's not gonna hit that guy. All yeah. Right. So he just there. swung and he any any run. Now, okay. um, all right. Um, Benedict is going to um move into the room and immediately okay. um go to number two. Okay. And with his sword, swing on number two. All right. He's using his silver long sword. Okay. All right, that actually is a natural twenty. Holy crap! All right. That's nice. Right. Um, uh, if you do max damage, what would that be? Max damage would be seven points of damage, one d six plus one. Okay, that's going to drop him. He's oh, gonna holy go crap! And it doesn't make any burn, snap, crackle, or pop. Just letting you know, oh. he just goes straight down. Yeah. So okay. he falls to the ground. That's just FYI. Yeah. Okay. Um, Ramses is going to um come um running into the room next because that's what he would do okay and he is going to um actually go past number three but like be on right right there yeah right okay. right, right there and he's going to swing at number number three okay okay ramses gets a plus one i don't know if this is but he but he rolled a 13 13 it's gonna hit oh nice um 1d6 that's another seven points of damage okay that makes the snap crackle pop when it hits this guy oh interesting is he down no all not right at all. not at all interesting all right here comes duran with his spear duran is running okay. in with the spear and um oh yes um that would be <laughs> um a 14 
That's going to be a hit. Oh, my God. Double um, damage. Well, it's going to be two times damage. Well, I rolled a six, so that's um, six plus one, seven, so 14 points of damage. Yeah, that's going to take him down. Oh, that is so sweet. Okay, he's down on the ground. They are inefficient, so he's dead, dead. All right. Larry's going to um, um, move, run in, and he's going to, how far can he go and fire? Uh, well, guy. he could go up to 30 feet and then make his flow. Of course, 30 feet would be, well, hell, 30 feet would be about, well, out to here. Well, let's uh, move him in five feet towards the table. There you go. Yeah, right there. Uh-huh. And he's and he's going to take two shots at number one. Cool. Do it. Um, all right. I'm just going to roll all the dice and see what happens. I cannot make this up. I rolled a natural 20. I rolled a 19, but then I rolled a one and a three. Um, so well, two that, hits. That, it's this, it's going to drop him. Does 20 it? is going to 20 will take him down. Yeah. Okay. And there was two silver arrows. Okay. I don't know if I Boom. needed them, but that's, but that's what I shot. All right. Cool. He's down. Boom. Nice. All right. Um, is there anybody else in the room? Uh, no, from what you could tell. Okay. Oh, yeah, and I don't know what Freyla does. Does she come in? Uh, yeah, she comes in, and she jumps onto the back of Dern and tries to bite him. Oh crap! <laughs> I ain't rolled a twenty. Well, that's a definite hit. <laughs> Holy crap! Well, it's gonna do. She's a were rat and she's bitten him to a yeah. saving throw. Well, she does six hit points of damage. I don't know where that puts him. Oh, he's dead. Okay, well, he's gonna okay. Well, so much for his were ratology. Yeah, because I mean he um he has uh yeah, I think she's killed she's killed your boy Duran. Yeah, she's sorry. killed she's she's killed Duran. Yeah, because Duran is now because he had three, so now that's minus nine. Yeah. So Duran is down. Okay. Uh, interesting. Um, so um, Durin has bit the dust. Oh, Durin. Well, that's depressing. You lost your yeah. dwarf. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Well, now it's our turn, right? Well. Oh, now or it's initiative time. Well, you got a new fight, right? So I guess yeah. we got to go. Yeah, right. So uh, five. Five. All right. You're good. You can go. Can, of course, this is can PD backstabber with his uh, silver short sword, uh, or she knows that know he's there. He, yeah, she would know he's there. I don't think she would get surprised on that. All right, well, be, she'll be interesting to hit. Let's see how this works. Go ahead. Yeah, PD, PD is like she turned on us. <laughs> I knew not to let her in there. I knew not to let her in. She was um, that old guy. What the? What do you roll? I don't know if I hit. Um, I, I just rolled a 10. I don't think a 10 hits. That's not going to hit her. Oh, damn. I said you right. got Larry. Yeah. Ramsey. I don't know if Benedict would have been seeing the action on it. Well, maybe he would have seen it. Well, Petey's yelling know. at this point. Um, okay, go ahead. Yeah, uh, but um, Ramsey's going to turn and put two arrows in her, in, in her. I thought he had a sword out. No, he had uh, uh, no, no. I'm sorry, no, Ramsey. Um, Larry. Larry. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, right, Larry. Good. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Larry's gonna put two arrows in him. You're absolutely right. Okay. Um, again, cannot make this up. Uh, two twos. Two what? Misses. Oh yeah. my God. No. All right. Go yeah. ahead, Ramsey's. Yeah, that's what I rolled. All right. Uh, Ramsey's is going to um dash over, and swing his sword at her. Okay. His silver long sword. Oh, finally. Okay, that would be a 15 plus 1 is 16. 16. That's going to hit her. Go ahead. Nice. Oh, and I rolled a 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. Okay. She's still up, though, man. I bet. All okay. right. Can Benedict even get to her? No, everybody's in the way. I think that's going to be a hard, hard run. This is going to be uh, it's going to be interesting because she's going to get started. Or is she? Would would she be like where Duran is? Because she jumped on Duran's back. 
which uh, would, would Dern be a corpse on the on the? On you the could ground? probably you probably have a minus three on your attack. You could try to attack her, but it's really yeah. congested there. He's in a trap. There's barrels and stuff. He was hiding behind her right there, right? Yeah. You think about that, right? So he would have to. Well, be the minus barrels. three. I guess the question is, does a twelve hit? No, it doesn't. Uh, oh, then, crap. Then the Benedict missed. Uh. Uh-uh. All right. Well, she definitely does not like Petey, so she's gonna make an attack on Petey now. Yeah. Uh fourteen. Does that hit you? That would. He has an AC thirteen. All uh, right. She's pissed. Yeah. Five hit points with the damage on Petey. He is dead. No. Yeah. He he had all, he already lost a three, and he then he only had six. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh God! All you right. should have listened to that other where at. I guess apparently. Oh my um, God! Are you serious? Petey's down. Yeah, Duran's down and Petey's down. I don't know. I lost. I lost a bunch of guys in this thing. But go ahead. This is brutal. All right. Yeah. Oh um, God. All she's, right. She's hanging on. She doesn't have that more than many hit points. But all right. Yeah. Well, I um, think Larry's screwing up. Larry would have dropped her. Yeah. Larry's. Larry's, Larry's okay, gonna. Right. Okay. Well, that's not bad. I got a eighteen and a four. So one 18's hit. Eighteen's gonna hit. You're probably yeah. gonna kill her. You got a plus one on this. Um, he did three plus two is five points of damage. Yeah, she's dead now. Oh, nice. Okay, oh so that's my two God. more silver arrows. You lost two to her. Yeah, I lost two. Oh my Damn. God, that is horrible. So it's just Larry, Ramsey, and Benedict. Yeah, that's what. Wow, happened. she thinned your herd from behind. She did. She is horrible. Benedict trying to save her. I'm telling you. Yeah, well, that's what happened. Um, all right. Well, um, Larry's going to see if he can retrieve some of his arrows. I guess he can only get like two back. Half, yeah, get half back. Oh, my God. So he's back up to 15 um, silver arrows. Um, all right, we're going to check. Well, now PD takes her stuff. Um, I take her two torches. Sure. The flint steel. Petey can't take crap from her. Oh, Petey can't. That's right. Petey can't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe in the gorgeous. afterlife. <laughs> this is a, okay. Um, Ramsey's is going to take the elven boots. Okay. All right. That's cool. I mean, he is a half elf. You would think he would have had it to begin with. Oh, he's a no. He's a he's a full elf. Um. Yeah, oh so, yes. So yeah. this is the elf. Okay. So thieving abilities i'm just gonna let you know so uh you're you could pick a character that you want to be able to do this and i'm cool with that you don't necessarily have to have a thief you're just not gonna get that backstab ability and let's say your progression really won't get past if you who's got the highest dexterity oh larry does larry has an 18 dex all right well give give larry the, the job and then his dex you can Okay. Maybe at second level he could add his decks to his tries and he get like a two out of six. Right. Or Larry will right? take Larry He gets to use two dice. Skills. He gets to use right. two dice and try to do a thief skill. That's let's just make that because right. essentially Petey really doesn't know anything at first level, right? Yeah. So Larry would know the same. So it's it's roll two D, two D six, and it's a one or two, you'll success you successful in thief skills. So you can still keep up your thieving abilities. Does it make sense? Oh yeah, it makes perfect sense. All right. Um, well, then the interesting thing is going to be there was a thief over at this door. Well, we're going to look to see if there's anything in this. Looks like it's a storage area. Is there anything in the storage area that's worthwhile? Are you going? Th- are you going through the dudes, or what are you doing? Oh yeah, definitely. You're right. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're going to start right. looking at that guy. And one of them was reacted to the silver. Did one the... has a one? A, there's a dagger plus one. I don't know who oh. you want to give that to. There's an emerald worth two hundred gold pieces and fifty four gold pieces in. Tr- and on that's on one of the bandits. Wait, say that again. Fifty-four gold pieces. Fifty-four and, gold. An emerald worth two hundred gold pieces, and a dagger plus one. Okay, so the ranger is going to take the dagger plus one because mm-hmm. he fights with two weapons when he when he when he needs to. Um, so he's going to take the dagger plus one. Okay. Um, and um, then. Um, Ramsey's well, who's who would have the better strength of this? Well, the Ramsey's and Benedict both have strength. Ramsey's going to take the um, the emerald 
and also all the gold and silver. Oh, and he discovers the scroll that was on uh, PD. Yeah. He looks, he looks at the scroll. And what is the scroll? Is it a cure light wounds? He's going to give that to Benedict. Okay. I don't know why PD didn't do that before. Have <laughs> you never read it? He didn't even look at it. <laughs> yeah. And he you just... never actually went through the one guy that you found in room two, the big room. You never went through his stuff. Oh, I thought you said that he wasn't wearing much. All right. Yeah. You're right. I, it wasn't wearing, but you didn't really look at anything else. You said, yeah, you're right. We didn't. Okay, you're, I you're just right. let you know. Yeah, we didn't. But we, yeah, so we're going to start searching these guys. So you said there's a dagger plus one and there's an mm -hmm. emerald um, that's worth 200. And uh, Ramsey's will hold on to that. Um, okay. And, and he'll take the rest of the treasure just before we divide it up with everybody else. Okay. Um, interesting. Well, um, we look around, I guess, well, this guy's trying to get in this door. So we go over to look at the door. Who's looking at the door? Um, well, we're all over. Well, I guess Benedict's closest. Um, but, um, Benedict all, notices all something off the bat. There's a symbol on the door that he's very well familiar with. Oh, it's a symbol for the church of silver light. He is going to move the thief away from the door. All right, let's get rid of that. All He's right. going to kneel in front of the door and pray. Okay. To his God. All um, right. Because there's a symbol of the, I, what, I think I wrote it down, the silver light. Is it that yeah, what it so is? Okay. It's his or, that's his order, right? Yeah. He, so he's going to pray. Um to his God to grant him the ability to get in this door. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and he's going to try to open the door. Why not? Uh, he opens the door. The okay. door is a chamber of an ancient stone has an image of it set upon the center inlaid in silver. So it's craft. They handle itself as crafted silver and the door appears in mark is undaunted by time or wear. The vast chamber that you walk to is nearly featureless and silent. The electric note of bones scattered about the room. I'm in the wrong one. Sorry. I'm sorry. That's it. Um, okay. So you open this thing up. It is literally a um, tomb. It's a tomb. It, it's going to oh, go this way. It's not going to be good. Oh, okay. no. But it was, it was to my God. Um, Wait. Hold on a second. You open it up. It looks like this. Benedict's, Benedict's going to motion for Larry and Ramsey to stay at, stay out. Oh, that's probably good. Um, if it's his God. Because Benedict's got an intelligence of 14. Just okay. doesn't have the great of a charisma. Um, he's going to go in and look at the tomb. Now, he is lawful, right? Yeah, he is a lawful, good cleric of the, okay. um, of the, of the light. All of a sudden, he sees a silvery apparition uh, kind of a step up out of the stone sarcophagus. Oh. It it waves at him. It looks like a knight, and then it disappears. He, he immediately kneels, right. and he says another prayer of thanks to his god, and... Um, He thanks the knight for his service, and uh, he goes and he looks at, I guess it's a coffin? Mm -hmm. So can I look inside? Can I see? Sure, you can Maybe open I it. To, okay, I open it. What do You see gonna... a beautiful set of chainmail, silver, a, a shield, and a long sword. It's all on top of what appears to be a skeleton. But once he opens the skeleton, opens it, the skeleton turns to dust and just sort of dissipates, just like that apparition just dissipated. So it's just empty armor sitting at the bottom of this thing. Okay. Um, Benedict is going to say out loud. Um, so you said there's chainmail, shield, and a sword? 
Yes. And that looks good. Silver. Brilliant silver. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, it's all got the symbol for the, uh, how would you say, Church of Silver Light? Yeah. Um, Benedict is going to say um, to the fallen knight, um, if you allow me, I will, I will, I will use this to honor our, our, our God um, and to fight for the injustices of the world. If you would allow me to use these, I may not be worthy now, but hopefully one day I will, I will prove my worth to you. So it does this like luminescent ping and like it all lights up for one second and then goes back to like a normal and it's almost, it's so bright. You don't even need freaking a torch in here. I will take that. I will take that as a yes. Um, so it's I'm, sil silver chainmail plus one. Write this down. Silver chainmail chain plus, plus one. one. It's okay. a shield plus one oh, that has a holy uh, has a holy symbol on it, so you don't have to carry one. That's oh. silver, right? And nice. you have a silver long sword, which is plus one plus four versus lycanthropes. Whoa! Now that comes in handy. Um, he immediately changes. Um, <laughs> takes out the soap, scrubs up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's gonna he's gonna change. But but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna give my chainmail to Larry the Ranger because he can wear it. Sure. And that would kick you just up. Throw your throw your stuff out in the hall. Put that on. <laughs> yeah, put that on. I'm 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 changing in here, and stay out. Um, so Larry's AC will go from 13 to 11, right? No, 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 it's going up. up. It's, go, it's, go it's, up. it's, it's, it's going to go up to 15. He's going to get, what's his chainmail right now? His, no, he, uh, he has leather armor right now and he's yeah. at AC 13. So it's going to go up to, that's yes. Larry. So oh, Larry. Larry. Okay. Okay. That makes yeah. Sense. Yeah. I'm doing Larry. So Larry's going to be AC um, 15. 15. Right. Right. And um, Benedict is going to go up to AC 17 because he has the 15 right now. And basically, he's going to have two plus ones. Yes. Right. So. And then you got that hoss of a sword, too. Yeah. And oh, the long sword. Damn. Can. Well, I guess the question is, Larry the Ranger, can he swing two long swords? He probably can't swing two long swords. Actually, he can. He just gets a plus one on his attack, but he doesn't get a bonus on the damage. Okay, then I give I give my silver He's, long sword. Yes, yeah, dual wield. You could do that. He yeah, yeah. So, so so I give um, I give my silver long sword to um, Larry the Ranger, uh -huh. and um, he's gonna have his um silver long sword. It's magic. What plus one plus four versus life throw? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So plus two plus four. Okay. Cool. Nice. Um. And then, well, no, I don't want to be greedy. Um. I don't know if there's anything else in here. Um. Oh, you need to get that shield with the holy symbol. That's nice. Okay. Yeah. Um. I again. Did you already have? You had a wooden one, didn't you? I had a wooden one. Yeah, because I was yeah, not yeah, worthy of a silver one. Oh, I couldn't afford one. So yeah, this is this might is, still this want it. You can use as a vampire stake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, might need it. Okay, well, <laughs> I I again um, say my thanks. All right. And what I do, um, I ask. Oh, well, I feel bad. Uh, I don't leaving these guys here, um, but. We're gonna take all their all their silver arrows. Uh -huh. You could put them in the crypt. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're we're gonna we're gonna put them in the crypt. Okay. And so they don't get touched. Um, we're gonna come back from, but we're gonna take their silver arrows, and we're gonna take their gear, and their trail rations. We're just basically gonna take their stuff, but I can't take all their weapons because I can't. But I can take. Well, I, I can take the silver short sword and the silver spear because I can return those to. Um, sure. Yeah, so I'll take those and leave, and I'll leave the regular stuff. But we're gonna take their arrows and silver arrows. All right. And um, we're gonna leave the leather armor in there. Um, 
and Freya is a rat now person. So, you know, we got her. Okay. She, she so wasn't always, she wasn't always a rat. Oh, well, she, she was always a one. rat. Okay. She became one. So there's still Benedict says, well, we, maybe we can, we can still find Samantha. Okay. Well, so now there's three of us. Okay. Um, interesting. Um, <laughs> uh, we're down to three. Um, what are your hit points? Um, Ramsey's is only down one. Larry hasn't been hit and Benedict hasn't been hit. Okay. We're going to freeze here for now. Okay. okay. Now, um, so just to kind of like, um, uh, we'll pick it back 